Hey gang, AV here. I just got a package in the other day for my Kickstarter rewards for the Born of Blood um, Kickstarter comic book that uh, I took part of. Um, basically, it was a it, it's a it's about a Spartan girl and her rise to becoming a badass basically is was what the first issue was about i got the digital copy i read it i really enjoyed it and i finally got my rewards in the other day so um this is the cover gallery which was a kickstarter um bonus that we, that we got has all the covers inside there which is nice um this is the born of blood preview issue so I guess this would technically be her first appearance. I forget her name now. I'm blanking on the name. Uh, it's been a long day. I'm actually filming this late at night. You have to forgive me. <laughs> um, anyway. Um, this is the virgin copy of the preview issue. Appropriately centered, censored for YouTube. Since... Uh, somebody flagged my, one of my videos in the past because I was showing stuff off, which is why I do it now. It's just a lot less hassle to, to just cover my bases this way. I apologize. I know I could probably show this stuff off, but, you know, whatever. Um, this is the trade dress, um, actual retail version of Born of Blood, number one. Um, it's from Merck, Merck, uh, magazine publications. Um, as you can see... They uh they like to do their their covers as magazines. They make their they make their comic covers look like magazines, which is kind of cool. Um, it's very unique. I do kind of like it. The only downside that I can think of is uh they got Merc magazine up top. So if you're actually going through a long box looking for these back issues, you have to really look, pull the books out in, one by one to see what comic it actually is. That's the only downside. Um, otherwise, it's very cool. Uh, let's see here. Um, on the cover, it might say her name. That's why I'm taking my time here. If it does, it's not jumping out at me, and I don't want to waste your time by, by looking at it too long. But that's, that's the retail version. Now, I also have a cheat sheet here for my invoice. So this is the uh, the Alpha Chicani, or I'm sorry, yeah, Alpha Chicani artwork for Born of Blood number one. The I actually really liked this particular image, so I got a lot of different versions of this particular piece of artwork for the comic. It's very cool. That's the trade dress version. All right, this is the uh, the regular foil version, which is obviously a nude variant. This is the lava foil version, which is actually really cool. Um, here is the metal version, so it's a metal cover. And it's also kind of a foil metal cover. Again, these are all the Alpha uh, Chicani covers. This is the I believe this is the Gamma Larix Lava Foil. Another cool cover I picked up with the Kickstarter. This is the uh... Oh, you know what? I think that might be the Delta Royale Lava version. And this one is the uh, the Gamma Larynx Lava version. 
The lava ones really look cool. And last but not least, we have the... The Gnome Metal variant. Which is very cool as well. Um, it is worth mentioning, too, before I let you guys go, that um, when I got my, my Kickstarter rewards in, um, I got a couple multiples for, for two of the issues. Um, I decided to buy multiple copies of two particular ones. And um, I was missing the extra copies. So I, I reached out to the to the people via Facebook, and they, they responded instantly. I mean, I, I got the, a very apologetic reply, and the very next day before noon, I had a tracking number emailed to me for the replacement books that, that, that I was missing. So, so their customer service is, is outstanding for, for Merck publications. I do highly recommend them. Um, they do have a website. Um, if I, if I remember as I upload this, I'll put the website in the video description. And as always, be sh you should check out the video description to begin with anyway, because I have a link to my whatnot page. I have a link to the Plastic Underworld, which is where I get a lot of my figures from. I have my eBay store. I got all my social media links. You should check the video description for my videos every time you click on one of my things, honestly. Um, if you like this video, check out my channel, where you'll see a whole bunch of other video content for comic books and action figure um, reviews and whatnot. Um, if you like what you see there, comment, share, subscribe. You know the you know the jizz, uh, the, the, the gist right now. So, as always, take care.